growing up in the 80s, I was a big fan of it, and I was a fan of it in the 90s during my high school years. But now it's not the same job that I wanted when I was a kid. It's not the same characters. It's, it's not the same at all. It's not larger than life characters. Um, it just looks like choreographed matches. Um, and a good, a good point of that is if you re remember Jason Sensation, the impressionist that they yeah. used during the Attitude Era, I did an interview with him the other day and he doesn't even hardly do impressions of anyone these days because there's so few characters and like it's so hard to imp impersonate somebody that has no character. Yeah, it's all it's all these guys that are great wrestlers wearing black trunks and just just kind of plain guys. I always bring it up that there's a serious lack of characters. Like even if you look through the Attitude Era in the '90s, guys like Gangrel, Goldust, you know, characters like that. It doesn't seem to exist anymore, except for maybe the fiend, which you know is up and, and that's down as well. Easy and it, yeah, and it's run its course. And like the stupid thing that they did with the fiend and John Cena at last year's WrestleMania, which I did watch yeah. that match, which just like with teleportation and vaporizing and like yeah. disappearing into different things. It's like we know we have to suspend our disbelief, but this is just to pin someone and they disappear and that's the main event of WrestleMania. Imagine Macho Man and Hulk Hogan or Hulk Hogan and the Ultimate Warrior and he's pinning the Ultimate Warrior and the Ultimate Warrior just disappears. Yeah, you would need a big fat joint to enjoy that match looking back on it, I think. Yeah, but as you said, you don't, like, I don't watch it because it actually makes me sad because it's like, this is not what, what professional wrestling is and I'm embarrassed when people think that I'm a wrestler, I'm in the wrestling industry, they think that I must be a fan of this stuff. Yeah. But um, like, if you look at that zombie thing, which I know they were paid over a million dollars to do, but then they hit the uh, lowest SmackDown rating that they've had forever and a very low raw rating too. It's like, is it worth the million for the bad publicity? And the yeah. phony looking stuff. And then all the zombies took a group picture after. And here's the other dumb thing. They had the Miz doing publicity the next week with like Forbes and the New York Post. It's like this guy was supposed to be eating. So then it's then it just becomes a big joke. Yeah. It's yeah. like you should, or last year they had the giant squid. I did watch that. There was some match where they end up in a dumpster with a giant squid. And then they all just start screaming. It fades to black. There's no finish of the match that the next week, there's no explanation of what happened with the squid. They're all just yeah. back wrestling. Yeah. 